Hey guys, it is Mike from Pizza Master. How's everybody doing? Today we're going to be making a delicious pizza in this wood-fired oven. It's going to be pepperoni on it, peppers, onions, some delicious marinated mushrooms, um, of course mozzarella cheese, and that also uh, blended with some provolone. So here we have Steve showing how to start the fire in your wood-fired oven, okay? You have to set the wood up just right so you're not lighting the fire five times, uh, getting your eyes burned out with smoke. So pay attention the way he layers it, putting paper underneath it, and then he'll put the wood in a crisscross pattern stacking it with small pieces of wood in between so when you light the paper the fire basically goes from the paper to the kindling wood and then slowly you'll add your larger pieces so check it out okay folks we sped this up a little bit Steve's getting the fire lit now and he's basically just going to feed it with a little paper and some more small pieces of wood uh, till it gets going and then we slowly start to put larger pieces of wood on there uh, until it's really, really caught fire well. And then uh, we'll take you to the next step. Check it out. Okay, folks, now it's time to push the fire into the middle of the oven okay the wood's burning really good it's definitely not going out okay so now you're going to push it into the middle let it cook in there start heating up the bottom floor right you know underneath the fire and uh you're basically going to wait a few more seconds and you're going to throw your a few more big logs on it and let those get going Okay, now that those are going, everything's going good, you could take the fire and you push it back against the back wall, out of the way, depending on what you're doing. You can put it on either side, but we like to try to put it in the back when we're making pizza. Uh, okay, get everything spread out a little bit and make sure it's still going really good. Okay, and that's the next step. So, check it out. Now, we push two fire bricks up against the fire, and this will help the pizza to cook with indirect heat, as opposed to getting charred beyond belief right off the, you know, the fire from the logs. It will now be cooked with the heat that's roving around the oven and not the direct flames, okay? We don't want that. So, now you close the door and heat up the oven for an hour or so, Constantly checking it to make sure the fire is good. And now it's time to make the pizza. Plenty of cornmeal on the peel, the wooden peel. That keeps the pizza from sticking to the peel and helps it like little ball bearings to roll off and right into the oven. You don't want it to stick. You start to stretch the dough. This dough has been sitting out for a little while so it's very soft opens up very easily. Start to stretch it, a couple of tosses, and it's about the right size to put down. Okay, stretch it out, make it look pretty. Okay. And it's time to add some sauce. Not too much, not too little. You always keep the sauce away from the center because as it cooks, the sauce and cheese will all kind of gravitate to the center of the pie. So you want to keep it a little light in the dead center. 
and we want to bring it as kind of close to the edge of the crust that'll keep the crust from overcooking on the edges sauce keeps it a little on the wet side so the crust does not you know overcook very quickly okay now a little grated Parmesan cheese key ingredient gotta have that go now the mozzarella and provolone mix okay same thing you want to go around the outside edges okay start on the outside edges try to bring the cheese to the edge of the crust and the sauce once again it's gonna melt and move into the middle so you don't want to overdo the middle of your pie go a little bit of pepperoni we sliced up straight from the deli section okay so you put these evenly around the pie doesn't have to be perfect they just have to be you know well spread out Okay, here comes some marinated mushrooms, marinated with some fresh oregano from the garden, some olive oil, some chopped garlic, okay, a little salt and pepper. Now some thinly sliced peppers and onions we have mixed up here. Put those on as much as you like. I like to slice them really thin, this way they, they cook really good in the oven and they're not, uh, you're not biting into crunchy pieces of, of peppers and onions. Uh, I don't prefer that. If you like that, then leave them thick. Okay, and then we add a little bit more mozzarella on the top, just for good measure. Gotta have that mozzi going. Okay. That's that, and into the oven she goes. And give it a little shake, make sure it's loose, and pop it in there. Perfect. It's gonna come out really good. That's a good looking pie. Okay, it's looking great. Just give it a little turn. Slowly turn it so it keeps cooking evenly. Okay, now she's done. This is one awesome looking pie. Cooked perfectly, I must say. This is going to be one delicious pizza, folks. It's time to cut it up. Split it down the middle. Split it the other way into four. Now you make it eight, you can go 16 if you want, if you have extra people around. Okay, this is gonna be one delicious pizza. I wish you guys were here to taste this one. Okay everyone, that's that. Awesome pie. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel, folks. Thank you.